Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the Digital Pen Pals podcast. Uh, I'm your host, Zach Schertz. Uh, and once you know, uh, I'm in a different location than I usually am. Um, so this is kind of new, I guess, if you're watching the video. Uh, it's just kind of something I feel like doing. Here at Digital Pen Pals, uh, we are a group of artists that collectively try to figure out how to get ourselves into making art professionally, uh, whether that be as a hobby or maybe we want to go a little bit higher and be self-employed or even work for somebody in the industry. Um, but here I just feel like this episode needs to be a little bit more personal because I've had a lot of thoughts lately and I just kind of want to get them out. But before I continue, I would love it if you guys would subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're listening to this somewhere else, please come to the YouTube channel, Digital Pen Pals on YouTube, and please consider subscribing. That would be awesome. It means the world to me. Oh, gosh. My Windows computer just went off. Uh, so this is a little bit different for me because um, I'm used to, like, just talking and I'm having to worry about myself on camera. Or if I am on camera, I'm at least talking to somebody else. So it feels kind of weird to be podcasting while the camera's on me. So, uh, yeah, I, it, it's different for sure. But I think the biggest thing that's been going on lately is I haven't posted for about like three months. And that's been kind of interesting. Uh, again, I never really mean for these things to happen. I don't mean for like the long hiatus of po posting episodes, but um, it gets, again, kind of tricky, like I've mentioned before. Um, I usually interview a lot of other artists and stuff that I find online, uh, which I have done uh, in the last three months. Um, but I think the biggest reason why I haven't been posting is because I've had this concept of wanting to have like a backlog of episodes. And uh, that being like, you know, having like at least a handful of episodes that I have filmed ahead of time. So basically taking a break from posting to collect a number of episodes so that way um, when I try to interview, uh, one a week, uh, which was my original plan. Um, I have like this backlog of episodes that I can keep, that I can have scheduled on YouTube to post and on, um, the other platforms like, you know, Spotify and everything. So that way everything just like makes more sense. Right. And it gives me, gives me a little bit more of like a safety net in case, uh, an interview falls through or, uh, in most cases, when I'm not able to find anybody to interview. Uh, so it gets kind of tricky. And so that's kind of the reason why there's been this kind of long hiatus. I have about, I think, three episodes uh, backlogged right now. So forgive me for that. But uh, we're going to start posting them. Uh, maybe I'll have a safety net. Maybe I won't. I don't know. <laughs> it depends if I can get more people to interview. Um, but I, I'm looking forward to everything. And I think the biggest thing that I've been thinking about uh, and what I kind of want to talk about during this episode, uh, it'll be kind of a shorter episode for everybody. So um, hang in there and, and do your stuff, do whatever art things you need to do. And, and let's just chat for a bit, right? Um, so the biggest thing that I've been thinking about, especially today, is kind of realizing that I'm kind of excited to make the mistakes that I'm going to make. Uh, even the mistakes I have made, which has been not posting consistently like I've wanted to, uh, because I do want to treat everything that I do as if this is like my full-time thing. Uh, but the reality of it is it's not. And, um, and it's just not re reasonable for me to do that. And I hope to be able to get there one day, but I, I kind of get kind of caught up in wanting things to go my way or if it doesn't work I shut down and I just stop doing stuff entirely um and yeah so since getting kind of busy and kind of getting overworked I took a break again from uh posting as much on TikTok and things like that and it's just been kind of refreshing to take a breather um I highly recommend it again uh I'm not very good at like my windows thing keeps going off I'm sorry didn't let me mute this thing because it's being obnoxious. Uh, where's the mute button? Where are you? Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I'm recording off of my laptop, so it usually doesn't have speakers that ding at me every five seconds about some Windows thing. Um, but I, yeah, I, I don't ever really plan on taking breaks. They kind of just happen. And uh, I think it's kind of natural that they happen. And I think that's okay. I, I mean, in the future, I do want to plan to have breaks, but 
um, I'm human. I'm not a machine. And I feel like I kind of naturally need to figure out when, how long of a period of time can, can go for me to produce um, artwork and content and stuff online before, like I, before I burn out. And when is that time span and how long do, of a break do I need? And so I'm trying to figure those things out. And I think that's okay. I think everybody is trying to figure that out. You know, whether whatever medium or art you're doing creatively, you kind of have to figure out what's your burnout point and how can you avoid burning out by taking a little break instead of burning out for like two or three weeks. How can you take a break for a week and then keep going? You know, it, it's a lot more effective and more efficient um, and healthier too, mentally, physically, everything. And I am just excited to be able to make those mistakes because making these mistakes um, or I guess lack in judgment and being able to understand everything, uh, because I'm making these, these mistakes, I'm able to figure out the answers for myself so that way in the future I can make the right decisions. And I think you kind of have to give yourself leeway to make those mistakes. And I I think for a long the longest time I felt like making those mistakes – like, I do remember trying to be positive, like, well, I'm learning from it, but I never truly, like, felt happy to make those mistakes, and I think it, my perspective changed a little bit listening to another podcast about um, creators, creative people that are online um, doing content creation. Uh, if you want to check out the podcast, um, it's the Colin and Samir podcast. Highly recommend it. Um, I'll link it down in the description, um, but um, during the latest episode, I... I just kind of had the realization I, I am so grateful to make mistakes and to be able to not to make mistakes, but the the concept and principle to make the mistakes in order to learn from them and improve and move on. And I think I I just didn't realize that before. And now I do. Um, and I just feel a little bit more excited and I guess optimistic about everything. Um, I've had a few more uh, really cool ideas brewing <laughs> lately, um, and it's like honestly really exciting. I I have some big plans that I haven't worked out the details yet, um, but there's been this path that I've always wanted to to go down. I feel like for me, not only for me, but probably for many of you guys, like you feel like you have this idea of who you are going to be in the future and what your business or what your job or whatever that is, your life is going to be like. And I feel like I kind of realized I don't know. There's lots of different pieces of other people that I aspire to be like, um, whether that be an artist that does, for example, this is one of my uh, big kind of developments right now is working on a Patreon, which I have worked on and tried a few times to try to work out, but I just never, it never felt right. And now it finally feels at the time where, you know, like I don't even care, you know, if it works out, just the concept that I'm going to try something new, just like when I had a Kickstarter and it didn't work, it failed to launch, uh, though it was successful in a lot of different ways, um, it didn't in the end work out. Um, but so for me, I'm really excited about this new venture in Patreon to try to do something that I aspire to, uh, to see if it's for me, because i um, a lot of things that we try as artists is kind of an experiment. And I think a lot of us as artists, a lot of the things that we do are experimental. It, it doesn't mean that's what we're going to do for the rest of our lives just because we pick up painting one day or we do digital art. Maybe that's not the end goal. And I don't really know if there's ever really an end goal. It's a revolving, changing thing. Uh, we are human. And as artists, we kind of tend to try to make ourselves perfect or predictable, I guess, or something. And that's just not the case. And so I, I feel like there's a lot of things that I just want to keep experimenting with and that's okay. Um, if I don't meet the kind of deadlines that I want to as a podcaster, as a YouTuber, as a TikToker, as whatever, like it doesn't matter. Like just keep trying and figure out what works for, for me. And if it's not working, just stop and try something different and that's okay. And I think I got caught up in a lot of things where I'm like, things don't work out the way I intended to. I'm seeing success, but then all of a sudden it stops. And I think I just need to stop telling myself that, oh man, that means like everything's at a halt and it's going to be months of me trying to figure things out. And I, I just feel like it's just like have fun and try new things. 
And um, I feel like today, especially with this like new little setup that I had for the podcast, uh, definitely not permanent. Like I'm literally on my living room sofa right now, but uh, it was just enough of a little bit of a change environment to kind of feel like, um, I don't know, I, I just, I need more change in my life and that's okay. And, and we're all a little bit on that same page where we need change in our lives every once in a while, change in environment, change in scenery. Uh, I mean, if, if you're feeling kind of bogged down or stuck, I, I guess rearrange your, your office, your room, whatever you have control over, rearrange something, I guess, change the environment, make it look different or, um, in my case, clean my bedroom because, oh my gosh, it's bad. Uh, that's probably what I'm going to be doing after this recording is going up and cleaning my bedroom because, uh, when you start over in life, you start with your bedroom. That's just how it works. <laughs> um, but I, yeah, I, I like, like kind of getting back to what I said, sorry, I got a little off track. What I'm trying to get to is, is there's lots of people I aspire to in life. And, um, one of those things being like a Patreon, uh, some of the artists I follow have a Patreon, as a lot of you probably already know. You follow other artists that do the same. They ha- they have a Patreon, and the concept is that they make monthly um, like art stuff. Like they'll make you know stickers, prints, and stuff like that, and then they send them out to their Patreon subscribers or uh, whatever you call them on Patreon. Uh, and you'll send out monthly little art bundle gift things, um, and that's kind of really cool. And I like that concept. That's something that I'm working on. Um, Now, is that something that's going to work for me all the time? Or is it going to be tiring? Is it going to wear me out? Am I just going to feel like I'm, um, you know, doing so much work for X amount of money and it's not worth it in the long run? I don't know. So one of my endeavors right now that I'm going to be planning as well um, pretty soon is the concept of starting that. Um, A very cheap tier list for entry because I feel like when if your prices are too high, a lot of times people just don't go for it. Um, so my kind of concept, at least right now might change is to do like a dollar. I I'm literally going to lose money doing this, but I feel like, um, it's a start maybe, uh, basically doing a dollar and giving them a, making a sticker, a print of an illustration that I do that month and a, uh, badge pin. Uh, if you don't know what badge pins are, they're you've probably seen them. They're kind of like, you see them, the cliche, like I voted for somebody and you know, they're, they're little pins, aluminum pins typically, and they pin onto you or whatever. They're circular. So I got in, I got a pin maker for that. And I am working on uh, perfecting the pin making process, um, in time for this Patreon release, I guess, and seeing, um, you know, even though it's a dollar, and I'm basically spending money to send people stuff. I, I feel like I want to start that and see if that's for me. Just try it for a few months, see how it works. And then from there, I'm my own boss. And I can tell myself, realistically, is this working? Am I still enjoying it? If not, we're going to have to kind of start over again and, 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 and see what we learned from that experiment and improve or do something different. I don't know. So that's, that's kind of the general concept of just trying new things and seeing where it goes. And, um, I'm, that's what gets me excited is just having new fresh ideas to go off of. And, and, um, yeah, I, I think this all kind of started when I, um, started to have a little like, okay, so here's a little update on me on the YouTube thing. So, um, my, my core dream before TikTok, before the podcast was to be on YouTube and to make YouTube videos. That's been the dream. Um, and I've been posting some shorts from TikTok and stuff, trying to see if I can gain success or traction through that. And nothing really seemed to be working super well. Um, again, I was growing um, slowly, very slowly. Um, but uh, yeah, things weren't panning out as quickly as I wanted them to. And it's just been kind of frustrating. But I've been trying to tell myself I'm in the long term game. If I blew up one day and tomorrow I had a bajillion subscribers or something, I feel like maybe I wouldn't be prepared. But this way, if I'm growing slow, I'm prepared to do exactly the same thing that I was doing when I had one subscriber as I am when I'm having a bajillion subscribers. Uh, Bajillion's not a number, but you see my point is I I just kind of want to still be me throughout everything. Um, And um, since posting some videos, I've had one video gain quite a bit of traction. Uh, on TikTok, I'm used to 
every once in a blue moon getting a video that goes pretty semi-viral and it's really exciting. But on YouTube, I haven't had that. And finally, I had a video pop off and now it's at 14,000 views, I think, which is for, for any views, that's crazy. On YouTube, that's especially crazy. If you've ever delved into trying to post stuff online, it is so hard. And um, something really interesting that I've seen, this is more analytical, so if this bores you, then tune out, I guess, for a second. But uh, what's interesting is if you know Mr. Beast on YouTube, he talks about how there are there are certain analytics that you want to hit for a video to go viral on YouTube. And one of those very specific things he, ever, he talks about that kind of is more important than anything is the watch time. So the per minute, percent, well, the percentage viewed of a video. So the view duration. So if you can hit about 70% or more higher watch watch percentage watch time, then your video usually gets picked up by YouTube um, and they start recommending it and they start putting it everywhere. And this video hit is now at like 77% average watch time. And I, wow, I, I know for sure that's like how it is. Mr. Beast was correct in stating that fact that 70% or more watch like percent viewed is definitely key to getting something to go more viral. And so that's been really exciting. And so since it's gotten so much views, I can actually like search. It's a VR video. If you're ever wondering, you can check out my YouTube channel. Uh, it's linked on this podcast channel as well. Uh, it's just my name on YouTube. Um, and it's a VR video about me trying VR chat for the first time. And it's only, uh, it's not very long. It's like maybe 20, 30 seconds or 40 seconds. And um, I just the right amount of things happened. I didn't even try um, like hashtagging it or anything. I just titled it correctly, apparently. And now it shows up on search engines. If you search up VR chat and stuff, um, there's usually like a short category for shorts. And mine is usually the the either like second, third, or fourth video in the short section, depending what you search. And so that's amazing. And that's how it's getting discovered is through search on YouTube. And so since then, I've had an actual company. Oh my gosh, an actual company reached out to me, not a scam one, because I've had a bunch of scam people reach out to me um, or other services that just don't apply to me at all. Not something because when I want my my idea for working with like, you know, whether that be a sponsor or like people that like want to send me products, I want to work with somebody that with stuff that I'm interested in with 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 stuff that I would want to recommend to like you guys. Right. Um, you know maybe eventually on this podcast channel, I have stuff like that. Um, just like the typical honesty stuff of like being transparent and, you know, the stuff I would use, I would recommend to you. I'm not going to give you like recommend stupid stuff for you guys to, to either try services to try or things to buy. I want to like, you know, have high quality stuff that I recommend, um, that I can be honest about. And so an actual company reached out to me that is legit and isn't a scam <laughs> somehow. Uh, we'll, st we'll see. I still haven't received stuff yet. But um, a company reached out and they want to send me some VR uh, accessories for the Oculus Quest 2 um, because they saw that video and they said I was professional and they really liked how um, I'm, I'm able to speak and stuff and, and talk about stuff. And so they want to send me stuff to review for free. Oh my gosh, it's the most amazing thing that ever happened to me. And that was like the start of me being like inspired to keep going and to keep trying. And um, so, yeah, I'm hoping by the end of this week, I should be able to receive like a box of whatever they send me. I don't know. But uh, I'm really stoked and excited to make videos about that on my personal channel. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of what sparked everything. And uh, I, I tell you this because um, I've been trying for years and years to have something of relevant size and significance to happen. And finally, something happened. Something happened. And, like, literally, it's because I didn't give up. Like, this isn't even, like, the end of the story of, like, oh, I've made it. This is the dream. No, this, this might not even work out. And that's fine. That's totally fine. The whole point that I'm trying to get across is that the only cap to success is yourself. You literally just have to keep trying. That's it. It might take years. I've been making videos since I was like in ninth or eighth grade. 
like not to say that it's all been accumulative and it's been like you know on the same channel or whatever i've been making videos for a while but i haven't i've been trying on youtube for you know quite at least like the last like two or three years like honestly i've been trying to push it to have videos like you know do well and stuff and, and been more like uh focused on it and finally something something tangible is happening um and i'm so stoked and it's not the first thing to happen that's like tangible you know but it, it's one of those moments where you can see a bigger picture of like where this could go and i hope that you guys can see that as well in your own situations whether you're just starting out or you're in the middle of trying to get things to work i i hope you figure it out i hope you find something to hold on to to keep you going because if you give up now something amazing down the line that was going to happen in a week from now doesn't happen and i'm just excited and that's one of the things that I've realized from a lot of, um, as I've done a lot of uh, listening and watching videos about other content creators, is it's so amazing. Whatever you do, you make videos, you make art, whatever it is, we all kind of have a similar goal of trying to be individual creators doing our own things, right? Being successful somehow. There's literally no ceiling to what we can do. That's it. That's the biggest thing that I could ever take away from all of this is there is no limit to what we can do. There's no limit to the amount of money that you can make, more or less, like creating art or making stuff online. You know, you could make $100 with so many, so many people following you, or you can make a bajillion dollars with so many subscribers or something. I don't know. Like, the sky's the limit. The only person that's going to limit you from getting there is yourself. So if you're able to be humble and be, like, um, honest with yourself, um, listen to other people that do similar things to you, learn from them, and apply the things that they do into your own stuff, you're going to start to learn what to do and what not to do in order to keep progressing. There's things that I've done like on camera or whatever that I have watched back and said, I'm not doing that because that was a big, weird, awkward, whatever. And I don't like the way it sounded. It I would click off the video if I, if I had to watch that. I would click off because I'm not doing X amount of things. So I change. I'm like, okay, instead of filming it this way, I'm going to film it this way so it's more interesting to watch. So things like that, you're just eventually going to pick up from other content creators and yourself as you edit and watch yourself in other videos and you keep learning and you keep going and you're honest with yourself what's working what's not and then keep going and um yeah i just i'm super stoked with just the i guess like better perspective that i have right now that might change next week i might be depressed next week who knows <laughs> um but at least this week i feel like I have a better outlook on things and I just wanted to share that with you because I'm hoping to same like feeling that I have right now about what we're all trying to do. A lot of us feel like we're alone and that we're like the only person that's doing this. Like I'm the only idiot in the world who would stay up till three in the morning making TikToks and hitting refresh a bajillion times, waiting for some hearts on some of the posts that I've made. I'm the only idiot that will turn on my camera for four hours and stream on Twitch about me making art and doing random dancing on stream. I'm the only one. No, there's so many other people that are doing the same thing. And I want you to not feel alone in doing what you're doing. Um, I, I just, I feel like a lot of us feel... And it's a conversation I've had with a friend, a close friend of mine, where, you know, oh, I feel like I'm so scared of this thing, or I feel so much, you know, passion about this thing. And I feel like, you know, you feel like you're the only one, like, oh, I can, I can, I can, I don't know, see, see smells or something. You know what I mean? Like, you feel like you're so different, that you perceive the world so differently, which can be true. But at the same time, like, you're a lot, a lot of like from other people. And you're not alone. Like, I don't know. None of this makes sense. I, I sound crazy, but that's okay because other people like me sound crazy and that's fine. 
Uh, maybe you're one of those people. Uh, <laughs> hit like if hit like on this video if you do, because um, I'm desperate for engagement on videos. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that being said, I I just hope that you feel um, appreciated. I I know a lot of people out there are like me, and they feel like the stuff that they put out isn't as appreciated as you feel like it should be. And that's okay. I, I don't, yeah, it's just, you're not alone and you can keep, you can keep trying just because you fail at one thing. Doesn't mean you have to quit. Doesn't mean you're not suited for it. If you really want it, go for it. If you want to have a hundred million followers on TikTok, go for it. And I, I feel like there's just so many things in my life that have pointed to me doing what I'm doing right now. It makes so much sense. The things I'm interested in, the things I love doing, the things that inspire me, the things that make me feel happy involve a lot of like making stuff and making art, filming videos, learning how to do better. I mean, look at yourself honestly. What are you interested in? And what are those things collectively add up to? That's going to point you in the right direction of where you probably should go. Now, again, I'm not responsible for your life choices. But if that helps at all, then great. Look at your interests and your hobbies and your things that make you happy in life. And see if they add up collectively to something. Maybe it exists. Maybe that job exists in the world. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. For me, I'm I'm happy to say that doing content creation is a thing and it uh, keeps growing and it will keep growing. And I'm hoping to eventually be able to make this like my full-time thing where I can put all my time and energy and effort into it. But um, for now, I'm okay with just doing it on the side and it gives me breaks from doing it. And I have times where maybe I don't post things and I have times where I post a lot of things. And every 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 step of the way is is a way to learn and to grow and i just hope you know that your mistakes aren't the end they're just the beginning of learning to make the right choices in the first place that's what life's about and i hope that you guys feel that i i hope that this podcast episode made sense um just a lot of thoughts and feelings that i wanted to kind of like talk about and I hope that some of it got through, um, even though sometimes I can't express myself super well, but I'm trying. Um, I hope this podcast was interesting for you. Uh, if it was, feel free to share it with a friend. Uh, you can give them a different timestamp. I, 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 I have the podcast openings sometimes that are weird. So if you want to give them a timestamp of like, hey, listen this timestamp to this timestamp. I feel like I feel like this would help you. Then cool. Share, share that with somebody and, uh, you know, I hope to, to get more people to keep talking about this stuff, about being creative and being an artist online and how tricky it is. Sorry, my uh, camera cut out, so I had to start it again. Um, <laughs> so we're back. We're back again. Uh, but anyway, I, I hope that this podcast is kind of a cool place where people can collectively come together and realize you're not alone talk with each other, make friends with each other. Um, because, um, for me, it's been helpful to talk to a lot of different artists that I've interviewed on this podcast. And I felt a lot of connection with a lot of people that I'm following now because I watched them and realized that I'm not alone in doing what I'm doing. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's this episode and feel free to comment what your struggle is in the creative process of trying to be an artist. Um, and I'm sure someone else out there feels the same way. Uh, anyways, I am grateful for you guys and be sure to like and subscribe because that's how the internet works. Uh, it helps, it helps me a ton when you guys do that. And, uh, I hope to see you guys next week and I will keep trying to post as often and as frequently as I can. Uh, but I do have a few episodes, uh, in the works right now that I have to just edit and post. So be on the lookout for that and they'll be on their way pretty shortly. Uh, they're really good episodes, so I hope you guys enjoy them. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>